Cleaning decades of dirt from ancient stoneworks, Lincoln Cathedral is where the old meets the new. These lasers are parts of the latest scientific techniques helping the building stand the test of time. But it's not all about high-tech lasers. Here on the roof of the cathedral, science is helping in a much more subtle way. We've learned a great deal about the history of this building and we've got data which allow us to date other buildings which were previously undateable. We were aware of just how important this roof is with timbers that were felled a hundred years before they started to build the cathedral. And roof timbers are now being studied at Sheffield University using a technique called dendrochronology. Well these lumps of wood may just look like, well, old lumps of wood, but the science here lets us date this piece back to 500 years ago. Because we know that, we can help restore buildings like Lincoln Cathedral. And scientists like Cathy do that by studying the rings which make up every piece of wood. The width of the rings varies because of the climate and once we've got a long enough ring sequence that actually becomes unique in time. It's allowing us to fully understand the development of the cathedral and whether repairs have been done, whether those actually link to past fires or other events in the cathedral's history. But science isn't always helping. 90 years ago, it seemed like a good idea to inject cement into the building, but now that's actually damaging the structure. But some things have stayed the same. In fact, medieval stonemasons could still find themselves in with a job. They'd feel very, very familiar with what we're doing. We're using the same tools, mallets and chisels, just like the ones that they use. So science has come full circle. The cathedral was at the height of technology when it was built, and it's new technology which is helping to preserve it today. Sarah Crudus, BBC Look North, Lincoln.